Well, some people do have some sense of closure in knowing that they've lost a loved one. There's still so many people who don't know for sure what's happened to their family member. ABC 7 News reporter Susan Roberts talked with those who are grieving over a loss and those who are still waiting. At 35, Mary Ray Sopper was just getting started in life. She was already an attorney, a Navy officer, and an outstanding gymnast. But she had an even bigger goal before she hopped aboard American Airlines flight number 77 bound for L.A. She had just accepted the head coach position at the University of California, Santa Barbara. She knew that the program was only really given, being given a year, um, kind of a make it or break it year. And Rebecca Herschel worked with Mary Ray as an attorney at a firm at the Watergate for a year before Mary Ray decided to move to California. Jim Bailey actually drove her to Dulles Airport early Tuesday morning. She said goodbye. Thanks for driving me. I'm going to miss you. And I said, go get him out there. You'll have fun. And, uh, you know, I expected to talk to her. Like so many other Americans, Jim is in shock over the terrorist attacks. And while he and other friends are sure of Mary Ray's fate, there are so many people still waiting for some kind of word as to their loved one's whereabouts. I don't know what to think, but he, we haven't heard from him yet, and, and we hope we still have hope for the best. Felicia Morton's 37-year-old brother-in-law, Michael Eichen, was last seen in tower number two, working on the 84th floor. He and Felicia's sister, Monica, haven't even been married a year yet. Some of his co-workers did make it out of the building, and at one point they even saw him as they were walking down. He's not the type of person who would have been pushing anyone out of his way. If anyone needed his help, he would have been there. Michael and Mary Ray are just two of the many we are remembering. Susan Roberts, ABC 7 News. Well, as you heard, Mary Ray just been named the gymnastics coach at the University of California, Santa Barbara, and Michael's family is still hoping that someone will know more about what happened to him.